Several months ago, I picked up my new monitor, the Dell U2415, and after some extensive use, it's time to do a review on it. The Dell 2415 is a 24-inch IPS monitor with measured edge-to-edge -edge viewable area of 24.1 inches, which is great because typically monitors fall just below the marketed size. This is a WU XGA screen, which means a 16 by 10 aspect ratio and a resolution of 1920 by 1200 so slightly larger than a typical 1080p, but still considered as such. The build quality of this monitor is mostly proper and solid, obviously all made out of plastic, but does not feel cheap. The bezel size is impressive, just 6.9 millimeters, aside from the bottom grille with the logo, which is 14 millimeters. Overall, front-facing aesthetics of this monitor are great. The OSD controls are touch sensitive, which I've never been a fan of because nothing replaces the feedback of a physical button, but therefore they're less visually intrusive. The monitor does have soundbar mounts at the bottom, covered by this cheap glued plastic, which could have been designed a bit better. There are also visible vent holes in the back to dissipate heat and of course the stand attachment cavity which does include VESA mount holes and screws in case you want to attach a mount arm. Personally this is a must. Attaching the monitor to the stand is a breeze. The monitor stand itself is fully adjustable to a respectable degree. This level of agility really enables the monitor to be aligned to a comfortable position for a large number of use cases. The importance of this can never be overstated. The I.O. ports are hidden behind this removable cover, which is um, easy to remove maybe? And feels really flimsy. I've been keeping it off since it makes access to the ports harder, but really because putting it back on, um, yeah, it's a negotiation on its own. Behind the flimsy cover are shiny I.O. ports. This includes four USB 3.0 ports, one USB in, analog audio out, as well as display port out, one mini and full display port in, two HDMI ports in, just in case you need that many, and of course, lastly, power. But then, in the back, way in the back over here, but much more easily accessible than the rest, is one more USB port. Let's do a power on test and see how it compares to its older and smaller sibling. It's quick to power on, and this is where the bezel size really starts to stand out. Compared to the last generation of monitors, the difference and improvements in design are quite apparent. For comparison, on the left I have my trusty P2214 inch 22 inch monitor, and on the right our new 24 inch U2415. Overall, the IPS panels share similar attributes, but more on that later. First, let's look at the OSD. The OSD is controlled through four touch-sensitive buttons, with the first two acting as reprogrammable shortcuts. Starting on the left, we have access to color profile presets, such as changing the monitor into game mode or movie mode, followed by input source selection and, of course, access to the fully-fledged menu. The OSD menu gives us access to all of the monitor settings, including miscellaneous screen parameters, personalization of the lower shortcuts, language and OSD-related settings, USB and LED energy settings, and, of course, display panel controls, which includes the ability to change the aspect ratio. Unfortunately, 16 by 9 is not included, and I feel it should. Then of course we have color related controls, as well as input source selection, and lastly, brightness and contrast controls, which I have set to 100% in order to bring out more of the screen's brilliance. All the features and physical attributes aside, what really matters is the screen quality. 
IPS panels such as this typically provide good color accuracy and good viewing angles. And this Dell U2415 conforms to this expectation with a 99% sRGB coverage and 178 degree viewing angles, so that's decent. Since this monitor has an aspect ratio of 16 by 10 versus 16 by 9 and a resolution of 1920 by 1200 instead of 1920 by 1080, this provides a bit more vertical real estate and increases the total pixel count compared to its 1080p sibling. At its peak resolution, it can be driven at 60 Hz, so by no means is this a professional gaming monitor. And with the lack of FreeSync and G-Sync built in to prevent screen tearing, it's not really marketed as one either. However, I played World of Warcraft, XCOM 2, and Pillars of Eternity and several other games, and it handled it quite well. As a matter of fact, on some games I prefer more vivid colors and overall visuals over the Hertz rate. This wouldn't be the case for every game or gamer out there, but for occasional gaming this definitely will do the job. If you play lots of FPSs, you probably already know what you need, and that's either a G-Sync capable monitor if you have an Nvidia card, or FreeSync if you have an AMD card. And that's the only way to get that smooth frame drawing, but also a monitor rated at 100 or more hertz. The screen has a response time of 8ms gray to gray, or 6ms in what Dell calls the fast mode, which can be changed in the OSD menu. And in both cases, it was not noticeable at all and pretty much aligns with my expectation for this monitor. The panel has a brightness rating of 300 candela per meter squared, typically, so pretty standard. Subjectively, even in a well-lit room, it had no issues with its brightness and on-screen objects appeared well distinguished. Now, regarding image sharpness. So this is a 24-inch monitor at more or less 1080p resolution. Well, that makes for pretty big pixels. At close distance, I can easily see the individual pixels stand out. And even at a normal sitting distance, when text gets small, or looking at curved lines at a contrasted background, this resolution at a 24 inch form factor really starts to show its weakness. You lose that perfect curvature compared to the same size screen with a higher resolution or a smaller screen with the same resolution. The optimal resolution for a 24 inch screen should be 1440p, but that also changes the price tag, especially with all of its features attached. But that is mostly relevant to static content, such as text, appearing a bit jagged. While moving content, such as movies or games, well, pixel density becomes a lesser of a factor there, as far as sharpness goes. It is worthy to consider that a smaller resolution also means less GPU power to drive it. The performance cost to render games or other visuals at 1080p versus 1440p or even 4K is quite significant, so the overall cost to value ratio must be considered. Overall, despite some of its drawbacks, the Dell U2415 is a decent performer in nearly all respects. Good panel quality, decent color accuracy with acceptable response time and plenty of IO ports and a really, really slick appearance. With a price point of just over 200 USD, it makes the monitor a good value. I can recommend it to anyone looking for a general purpose monitor that doesn't break the bank because that's exactly what this monitor does well acceptable in all respects, but not quite perfect. And if you think about it, isn't that basically what a daily user should be? Tell me what you think in the comments and check out links to this monitor below this video. If you enjoyed this review, please hit the like button or subscribe to my channel for future reviews. Take care.